Hi, I'm Jessica from Devolutions, and today we're going to look at how to set up two-factor authentication in Devolutions Password Server. Password Server supports nine different types of 2FA, and there's a couple of ways to configure it to give you flexibility. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is log in as an administrator, and then go to Administration, Password Server Settings. So we have two main modes for 2FA in Password Server, optional per user, and this is if not everyone is using uh, two-factor authentication at your organization, or there are many different types of products being used at the organization, so that you really wanna set the 2FA individually per user. The other option required is good if you want to enforce a blanket 2FA policy because everyone's using the same product. Um, for the first example, we're gonna choose required because everyone's using the same product. Send reset email to specifies who receives reset requests from users. Basically, who should be contacted when users want to redo their 2FA configuration. Again, we have two choices, administrators, this means that every administrator in DPS will get a reset request um, sent to them or specific email. And this means we can just choose one place for it to go. In my example, I've just made a little generic email for the purposes of the demo. Now we'll choose the two FA products our users have. I will select Google Authenticator for this demo. Um, at this point, Google Authenticator doesn't need the admin to configure anything extra, but some others do. Like, let me just give you an example. If I click on Duo, we see there's a little configuration link here, and I have to, as the admin, put in some information before the users can finish the configuration. Uh, moving on to the next option, default. So here, because I've only selected one, we have Google Authenticator as a default for our organization. If ever we had selected multiple types because there's more than one product being used, we could choose a default type and that would be what the majority of people are using. And finally, we can set up some alternative methods. This is when a user is in a bit of a tight spot, a bind, and they can't use their usual 2FA method. So for whatever reason, they can't use Google Authenticator, but they still need to access DPS. Then we use backup methods like email, so we'll get an email sent to them, or backup codes, which are validation codes that they need to print out beforehand and then use in uh, those moments. Um, so we're done here now and we're just gonna save our work. Um, and now the next time a user logs in, they'll be asked to configure their 2FA. So just give me a moment and I'll show you what that looks like with Google Authenticator. I'll log off here. So now I'm going to log in as just a normal user. And we see that I am being prompted to configure my Google Authenticator. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, what I need to do is scan the QR code with my device. Of course, this is gonna depend on what service you're, or what product you're using. Um, again, check the online help if you need to. So let me just scan the barcode. And now I have a validation code. I'll just enter it in this box down here. So now it's asking me to log in again. Uh, this is completely normal. It's just I need to connect to the password server. So I put in my username and password again, and a new code that I'm seeing on my phone. Great, so we're in. That, that going through it twice is uh, just the first time. Now, every time I log in, I'll just need to do my username, password, and configure it. So now I'm just gonna go back into the admin account to show you some other options. Okay, so we'll go back into administration, password server settings, um, and two-factor. 
So before we chose required, um, and this time we're gonna choose optional per user. And this is gonna give us more options. Maybe some people don't use 2FA, and there's like a different people using different products. Let's say we have, most people are using Google Authenticator and a significant minority are using YubiKey. I've left send reset email to and specific email the same for this example. So we've chosen our two examples here. Moving on to the next option, we see that the default here is grayed out. What this means is we need to set the 2FA type on each user individually. So there's a price to pay for granular settings and variety and flexibility, and it's a little bit more at work for the admins. Um, we're gonna leave the alternative methods the same and click save. Okay, so now let's just go and finish the process. For example, we need to go into administration users and for a user, we choose what they're gonna use. So Ellen here, if we go into two-factor, I just clicked on the person and then clicked two-factor, she's gonna use Google Authenticator um, from the two types that I had available. And we are given two options. We can either check configure later by user and she'll see a screen much like the one we saw just a moment before. Or if you prefer as the admin, you can sit with the person or with their device and configure it directly here. That's really up to you. Um, I'll click configure later by user and then we'll just click update. Then here, Victor, I just clicked on him and in two factor, we can change his to YubiKey because that's what he uses. And in this case, again, we can say configure later by user or enter the validation code depending on how you want to work. I'll just cancel that one for now. And let's say there's someone else like uh, Ted. Uh, he actually doesn't have two factor yet. So by default, people have none set and then we're just going in and changing it as we need. So that's how we set up the two main modes of 2FA in Devolution's password server. So those are a couple of ways that you can set up two-factor authentication in Devolution's password server. If you want more information about the nine types of 2FA that are supported, check out our online help. We have information about them all. Links in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. We're always coming out with new videos, so why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? If you have any questions, jump into our community on our forum or follow us on social media. Thanks a lot for watching.